so first um you want to do your foundation concealer and all that good stuff and then move on to your brows i'm gonna take this seven heavens gel black gel um eyeliner that i have and i'm just gonna put that on my brow this is just to get that whole cartoony effect and i'm just gonna um angle my you know brow the beginning of my brow just so i have a permanent frown so throughout the video you will think that i'm frowning <laughs> but this is just how um you know this is how it's done you sort of tilt the beginning of your brow and as much as you like the more you do it the more um sadder you would look i'm just taking this white pencil and i'm just gonna roughly carve out where i want the partition to be And I'm just going to do a tiny little expression mark next to my brow. This is just going to enhance the sadness. I'm going to finish up my other brow as well. You just want to go um, till the partition um, and just fill it in exactly the way you did for the other brow. I'm just going to take this pen liner from Ink Color and I'm just going to um, draw a regular liner but just do it really thin at first and just um, with very light pressure you want to draw this liner and the fake lashes. So I'm just drawing fake eyelashes. I'm going to start at the outer corner first and you want to go really thin at first and then build up if you think you need more. So next to that I'm drawing another line and a third line and so forth and now I can build up my um, line on my lid and make it look really equal and you know basically just bringing it all together I'm just gonna do my lower lash line as well so first I'm just going to you know roughly draw where I need it to be and you don't want to go in the you know close to your waterline you just want to go a slightly below your waterline and you just want to do the same thing draw fake lashes and adjust it according to your satisfaction you want to take your time with this because it can go seriously um wrong i did this twice because i kind of overdrew and then i realized i have to go in really tiny steps so now i'm just gonna draw a fake crease this is just again for a cartoon effect this is just to enhance the sadness now i didn't draw my crease lower because i have folds um, and it would have looked really funny if i drew it um below where i'm drawing it right now I'm going to take this white pencil and I'm just going to put it in my waterline and a little bit lower as well. This is just so my eyes are wide open and it, you know, gives that doll like effect. And I'm just going to draw fake tears. I'm just outlining roughly where I want it to be. This was surprisingly difficult. And I'm just going to draw a straight line down my nose but you do want to do this a bit off center and this is just um, your preferred side basically. I'm doing it on my left side, you can do it towards your right and yeah I'm just creating lines wherever I think needs a little bit of drama and I'm just going to fill in that teardrop with a little bit of blue teal eyeshadow from the NYX Brights palette and I'm just going to outline it using the same pen liner. This look was so much fun to create. Um, yeah, I just transformed into something so different. It was unreal. I absolutely enjoyed this look. Um, I'm just going to fill in some more eyeshadow and I'm going to take this Miss Claire liquid liner and I'm just going to draw it across my jawline. I'm going to drag the crack down with the white pencil all the way down to my neck and I'm going to continue with the liquid liner on my temple, my cheekbone. I'm just gonna drag this down to my shoulder as well so I'm just um, drawing a straight line across my shoulder and also my collarbones 
I'm making that line thicker next to my um, cheekbone because I thought it needed a bit more drama. Now I'm going to retrace the white line that we did at the very beginning of the video with a black pen liner. I'm going to go in with this Miss Claire black eyeshadow. Obviously you can take any black eyeshadow you have and a detailed shader brush and I'm just going to shade the crack in between my face. Um, this is going to give a 3D effect. It's going to look like I literally um, have a partition, you know, in between my face. Shading is everything. I mean, if you just leave it flat, it's just not going to look that flattering. Um, you want to, you know, give it a little bit of details and all these tiny little details really matter. So the shading and outlining, everything matters. I'm going to thicken the cracks a little bit wherever I think it's necessary. So you want to do this um, all the way down and across your shoulder as well. I'm going in with this Sephora liquid lipstick and I'm just going to put that on the, you know, pop art um, side of my lip. Um, definitely going with the liquid lipstick is my suggestion. And yeah, I think that's best. If you go in with the cream lipstick, you won't be able to draw the fake shine and you won't be able to outline with the black liner because it's just going to smudge all over. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to line my lips with the pen liner and I'm going in with mascara. I'm going to pop a little bit on the other side as well just to make it look a little bit alive. And I'm just going to put the black um, on the inside of my lip. This is again just to give a cartoony lip. The whole pop art look is really coming together now. I'm going to take this white foundation from Kryolin and I'm just going to um, create a fake shine on my lip. So you just want to draw two curvy lines, one um, at the top and one at the bottom. It's better if you use, um, you know, a white liquid liner, according to me, but I didn't have one, so I used the foundation stick now I'm just gonna take this MAC lip liner in cherry and I'm just going to draw these dots all around my face and my neck basically the pop art side of it and you you know want to make sure that the circles are similar to each other in size um, at least try and you want to make sure that they're aligned correctly you know either they can be horizontal or vertical you know slanting anything that you like but it has to be in the same um, direction and going in a very uniform manner basically you know what I mean so I just put on a store-bought wig and I'm just gonna pop on some yellow eyeshadow and that's it this is how easy it is it is quite an easy look trust me I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you are enjoying my Halloween series. I love you guys so very much. And let me know what you want to see next. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.